हेलो एवरीबडी हाउ यू आई एम डॉक्टर पुष्कर एंड टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग कि हाउ टू अप्रोच द क्यू बैंक इन नीट पी जी सो आई फील दिस इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द प्रिपरेशन दैट इज हाउ टू सॉल्व द क्यू बैंक एंड एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल डू मेक अ मिस्टेक इन दिस स्टेप बिकॉज द क्यू बैंक इन वेरीबली इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी बल्कि फ्रॉम वेर एवर यू प्रैक्टिस so uh, how to cut it down into uh, you know segments and parts so that you can you know, go through with it efficiently as well as you know keep most of the things in mind especially the important ones uh, is the game so uh, i would like to introduce myself again and so that uh, yeah, it's it's more clear uh, i gave neat pg 2023 and i secured a rank of 600 and, sorry uh, marks of 620 and a rank of uh, 1315 and i am currently pursuing dnb radiology in just lok hospital mumbai theek hai so and uh, i did not take a drop and i prepared while i was going through my internship so i i feel ki i would have a good idea about how to you know efficiently go through the q bank which is actually a, a pretty pretty hefty part of the preparation okay so to go about the qbank we need to know first of all what are the parts of qbank or actually we need to uh, if if not know segregate the qbank into different parts so qbank comes in three parts so i would i would uh, differentiate it in this way pyqs second would be your uh, uh, normal qbank subject wise questions and third would be your grant tests okay so uh, this this is how you can divide the cube bank and ultimately uh, you have to cover all three things so importance of each type so now we have segregated it now we have to focus on each type so first to focus we need to give importance to each type so importance would be in this way pyqs are definitely most important because as we can see uh, you know 50% of the paper at least is directly based on uh, pyqs remaining 25% is indirectly based and the last 25% is you know com- coming from here and there uh, so uh, pyqs become very important and more than pyqs pyts previous year topics become important okay so in we will practicing pyqs become important for that okay so then comes the gts and lastly is the q bank the most fearful one thankfully is the last one in importance okay so i feel ki if a person is thorough with these two more than 50% of the preparation is done theek hai and q bank this is more for the experience i would say experience of what experience of solving mcqs because ultimately we have to master the uh, art of practicing or solving mcqs rather than having to know everything that is going on with the subject theek hai so that's why py pyqs and gts become important for theory part ki what to read and what to revise and what to learn and qbank becomes important for how to solve question how to gain experience in solving questions theek okay? hai multiple choice questions so how do we start so people usually you know make the mistake of starting with the qbank first after reading the subject and that's where they fall because the qbank is a tough you know module to solve and immediately after reading just the uh, especially just from the uh, revision videos which i you know uh, just covering the high yield topics going through a detailed qbank would be very difficult for most of us and uh, wo nahi karna so what we have to do is we have to you know keep our spirits high and that, therefore we start from pyqs we finish the reading that is from the revision modules and then we move to pyqs immediately after that so pyqs will do two things it will reassure us about the topics which are, which are important it will add to our knowledge so some topics might not have been covered in the previous year uh, the, in the revision notes so you can you know uh, annotate those notes with these topics and then third it will boost our confidence because most of the pyqs will be you will be able to answer from the revision modules and it will give you a good you know confident boost ki nahi uh, i can do this and i will do this and i think in the initial phase this is very important uh next then you move on towards the gts gts you have to start early that means you know even though you have finished one or two you know not, not two chalo three subjects three subjects you have finished you can start so uh, i usually followed the schedule that was set up by maro and i think it 
gives a good timeline on how frequently to give uh, the grand test so i think you should go along with that and try to give each grand test as a live one uh, you know so that you stay in schedule with that so but uh, important thing is don't get upset if you don't get a good rank or marks in grand test initial grand test are just just and just for experience experience based kyun kyunki we have to learn to sit for 3 and 1/2 hours and you know keep our mind active for all those 3 and 1/2 hours to solve the mcqs so initial grand test was wo hai because invariably you have haven't completed the whole syllabus neither you are prepared enough or experienced enough to you know score in a 3 and 1/2 hour paper so initially just give for experience and later on we can you know go about marks kaise jana hai bataunga and then lastly yes then we move on to q bank when you have given uh, few gts and then uh, you have finished all your revision modules that means your previous year topics and everything plus along with that high yield uh, high yield notes that you have made revision revision videos say then you can move on while doing your second revision with the q bank and at that point of time it will help you gain experience so see experience comes two times first initially when starting the gts that will give you experience to sit for 3 and 1/2 hours and then the another experience is how to solve questions with less knowledge so that is what q bank will help us do that because uh, we will only be having knowledge from previous year high yield topics which have been set by us from the revision uh, revision notes and uh, previous year questions and we will try to use that knowledge that that knowledge itself you know to solve tougher questions which might not be covered directly in those uh, in those modules okay so there is no actual uh, you know step by step way how to do it but i can only explain ki uh, the moment you even know one one option uh, from the four of them and you have you have understood the question and what the examiner is trying to ask out of that question you will be able to you should be able not will be you should be able to answer that that should be your motto and you should have that motto while solving the q bank not to get the question correct by having a good knowledge of the topic that the examiner is uh, you know trying to ask but how to solve that question with less knowledge there is a bit of a difference in that thinking okay so wo experience humko ye q bank ka gain karayega and ye wala experience different hai okay and then pyq so this is how we start so and how we go ahead and how we go ahead is uh, you know done by bookmarks ki the most important thing while solving something or reading something is when you come back to it you should take less time okay so again if you are taking the same amount of time that means the first reading was not efficient okay so so that book bookmarks helps us reduce the load of questions which are there in the you know whatever source you are following so i was following maro so i'll explain the bookmarks how i used from maro and then you can you, uh, you know use your app or the bookmarks provided by it in a similar way so maro provides these three bookmarks if you you know you will be knowing there is one star and there is one uh, question mark wala so uh, the blue ones the blue bookmark ones uh, the uh, the blue ones i used for uh, basic questions basically basic questions is non uh, non previous year questions in the q bank in the q bank module while i was gaining you know trying to gain that experience jahan jo mujhe questions acche lage कि नहीं इनको आई थिंक वी शुड गिव इट अ रीड अगेन कि इसमें कुछ ऐसा है विच माइट बी हेल्पफुल टू मी अपार्ट फ्रॉम द क्यू बैंक एज वेल एंड प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन के मोस्टली द टॉपिक्स एडिड होते हैं उसके अंदर सो कुछ एक्स्ट्रा चीज़ जो तुम्हें पढ़नी है दैट यू कैन ब्लू में तुम मार्क कर सकते हो द रेड वन जो होते हैं दे आर द वन विच आर एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट इसमें दे आर दी पी वाई क्यूज which are you know repeated either repeated very frequently or have some good tables in them ya fir kuch aisa information hai which you, you know tend to keep making errors in so those type of pyqs you will mark in red that you have to revise before giving the exam aisa cheez and then this question mark is not actually doubt wale questions uh, these are actually abstract questions these could be either your blue wale questions or they could be either your question the, the red wale questions type of pyqs or non pyqs but they should be more likely factual based they they should be like jiske sir aur atta mar ke kaam chalne wala hai at the end of the day ye tumko 10 15 question ye sab pad ke jane hai so that that factual information stays in front of your mind while you know giving the paper to so, waisa type ka to factual questions jo hote hain aur atta questions jo hote hain wo sab isme aa jate hain so then once you have done this then you can revise the q bank because now thoda sa volume to kam hua tha so how do we go about it so again now we have three segments we have divided the q bank into three more parts 
जिसमें कि तीन टाइप के बुक मार्क्स हैं सो नाउ वील ग्रेट देयर इम्पॉर्टेंस वाइल हाउ टू रिवाइज तो इम्पॉर्टेंस कैसे रेट करोगे फर्स्ट इज योर ऑफकोर्स दिस स्टार वाला सॉरी दिस दिस स्टार एंड देन दिस देन बिकम्स योर क्वेश्चन मार्क एंड देन अगेन लास्ट इज योर एक्चुअल बुक मार्क रिस्पॉन्स ठीक है सो दिस इज हाउ द इम्पॉर्टेंस गोज बाय अब दिस these two these two have to be very frequently very frequently revised and especially before giving the actual neat exam it has to be revised so last 10 days mein iska bhi revision hona chahiye this you can go about on your own time ki jab kabhi you know you're tired and you just go for a walk tab tum usko revise kar sakte ho side along with that so uh, this is how you can approach and ab jab tum inko approach karoge you just need to you know be fast because ye wale questions to tumko yaad ho jane chahiye एंड इनसे तुम बेसिकली जितना एज मच एज यू कैन गेन कर सकते हो तो दिस इज द रिविजन स्ट्रैटेजी एंड रिविजन स्ट्रैटेजी यू ट्राई टू सॉल्व दीज क्वेश्चन एटलीस्ट बिफोर गिविंग एवरी जी टी ऑल्सो लव इफ पॉसिबल इफ टाइम परमिट्स दैट वुड बी अ वेरी गुड हैबिट और यू कैन यू नो वॉट यू कैन डू इज इफ यू कीप रिवाइजिंग दैम जस्ट डू टू थिंग्स बिफोर गिविंग एनी नेक्स्ट जी टी जस्ट रिवाइज योर ट्वेंटी एथ नोट बुक एंड देन रिवाइज दिस थिंग The, these bookmarks i think you will be very good to go and then you can even start ex- expecting some marks out of your uh, gts as well theek hai so this becomes how to revise the q bank so this would all revision would be done after the second revision has been completed so while you have made these bookmarks okay in the second revision jab tum kar rahe the so next ek agar last mein important thing aati hai uh, how to review the gts so this is another very untouched topic ki जी टीज को रिव्यू करें तो करें कैसे एंड हाउ टू बी यू नो डू इट इन दी मोस्ट एफिशियंट वे एज पॉसिबल करने के लिए तो बहुत तरीके हैं एंड यू कैन यू नो टेक डेज टू रिवाइज अ जी टी एंड हाउ यू डिड दी इन द एग्जाम वैसा करके बट वी नीड टू बी फास्ट ठीक है तो वो कैसे करना है तो अगेन जी टीज में देर इज अ वेरी गुड फीचर इन मारो आई एम नॉट श्योर वेदर इट्स अवेलेबल इन दी अदर आज बट आई फील समथिंग सिमिलर वुड भी देर सो देर इज समथिंग नोन एज गेस्ट आंसर सो वाइल सॉल्विंग अ क्वेश्चन यू कैन गेस्ट एन आंसर यू यू नो If you guess an answer, you can use the option कि मैंने ये guess किया था and so that you can come back and review it later. So its actual purpose वर्क for that, but I feel it should be used for two purposes. एक जो तुमने तुक्का मारा वो तो है but all anyways वेज जो तुम तुक्का मारोगे इट शुड बी अ कैलकुलेटेड तुक्का कि तुम्हें एक ऑप्शन आता था एंड देन विद विद योर एक्सपीरियंस दैट यू हेट गेंड इन क्यू बैंक विद वाई सॉल्विंग क्यू बैंक तुमने उनको आंसर किया सो दैट दैट शुड बी गेस्ट एंड इवन आई फील इफ इन सम कॉन्फिडेंट क्वेश्चन एज वेल अगर तुमको कोई ऑप्शन एक दिया हुआ है जिसमें यू आर नॉट वेरी श्योर कि ये चीज़ क्या है उसको भी गेस्ट मार्क कर दो उससे क्या है इट विल यू नो इट विल कलेक्ट ऑल द क्वेश्चन विच इन टोटो वर्ड सपोज टू बी रिवाइज बाई यू बट उसके लिए तुमको अब तुम्हारे करेक्टली आंसर जो करेक्टली आंसर्ड क्वेश्चन है उनको खोलना नहीं पड़ेगा फिर से सो वॉट विल हैपन आफ्टर गिविंग अ जी टी यू विल ओनली रिवाइज थ्री थिंग्स फर्स्ट ऑफकोर्स योर रॉन्ग क्वेश्चन सेकेंड ऑफकोर्स योर Unanswered questions, you know, unattempted, unattempted questions, and then your guest questions, and that too what guest correct, guest wrong तो सारे wrong में आ चुके होंगे, ठीक है तो guest correct questions ये तीन चीजें ही बस तुमको हर GT के बाद revise करनी है, along and जब ये तीन चीजें revise कर लोगे साथ में अपना जल्दी से go through your twentieth notebook and those bookmarks, especially the red ones. and then you are ready to give the next gt in in such a way that you will not make the same mistakes that you had made in the last gt so you will be going onwards and forwards rather than you know either being stagnated stagnated in that same place plateau ho gaya tumhari marks ke sath rank ke sath and tum aage nahi badh pa rahe ho ya nahi tum niche giroge theek hai you will always be going ahead so this is i feel the best way to revise uh, a review a gt and then keep going ahead ठीक है सो इफ देर आर एनी डाउट्स प्लीज लेट मी नो एंड होपफुली दिस सेशन वाज यू नो नाइसली एक्सप्लेन एंड होप यू कुड गेट समथिंग आउट ऑफ इट सो ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर एग्जाम एंड टेक केयर